Okay, so we've done our batik, um, and um, I've got um, a student's design here. I think it's Florence's. Okay, and what we're going to do is now the design has been completed, um, what we can do is we can iron it. So I've got some newspaper here. Uh, I'm going to get a few bits of newspaper here. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in between the newspaper. One... Two, we'll start off twice, okay? So, because we need to get the wax out of it now, okay? If you ever want to go back and do more wax over the top, you can, okay? But what we're going to do is we're going to try and remove it so it is nice and smooth. So you can see, as I heat the wax, it is removing and absorbing the wax into the newspaper like a sponge. Now, because that's come through quite a lot, we don't want to get it on the... Um, our iron I'm going to close it, add another piece of newspaper and I'm going to keep ironing this until I've removed all the wax and you can see it all gets absorbed it's come through again you see there's a lot of wax there and we can keep ironing okay so it might take you a little while to iron that um, sometimes we can use a heat press but you might need to use quite a lot of newspaper and as we open it up, you can see it kind of sticks. You can see all the melted wax to it. Okay. Now, that has been ironed in one section. Okay. And I would throw all the um, wax so paper into the bin so we can recycle that. Okay. And then turn it over to the other side because we need to try and remove the wax from the other side because my newspaper wasn't big enough. Okay, so again, we're going to fold over one, two, and just iron where we weren't able to get the wax out. And you can see that is coming through there. Okay. And then once it is completed, 